kids are back in school so we are going thrifting I will hopefully be able to take some footage um, oh, fingers crossed I've been watching um, Miss Dam Jewelry I'll put her up here um, check her channel out if you've not already but she does so well with her camera I really need to do better come on Chrissy you can be brave you can do this so let's see how we get on We didn't get much footage. Um, I took a little bit in the shed. I picked up the um, converses, I think. Um, and then when I went inside, um, they had a load of saucers and you got 10 for a pound. So I picked up some saucers. I know random without the cups, but they are nicely designed. Um, I picked up this. What does it say? Has writing on it. Hand selected botanicals. Hand selected botanicals. It's like a flat bottle. So weird. Um, I said what I spent in there. That shop there, I spent fifteen. I got two jugs for seven. Um, but I'll show you why. I those jugs up. They're English Majolica. They have the lozenge mark there. So I can identify be able to identify who it was. It has got a crack in this one there. Um I didn't properly look over them to be fair. Saw the lozenge mark, saw it was Majolica with that glaze. Um I thought even even in um, like that condition, you could probably get twenty pounds for a job. And this one again, it's got the lozenge mark. This one's in better condition. So I think one is slightly slightly bigger than the other. So I think you're looking at forty pounds here um, minimum for the two together. Um, I've got a few interesting pieces actually, things that I do need to research. Oh, Christ. No, I've not broken anything. It's okay. We're good. We're good. Okay. This one, um, I'll do more research. It's broken on the foot. And it's got cracks. But there's a reason why I picked this up. There's some, I don't know if you can see from the sun, some hairlines. This is by Moore Brothers. 
and planters by Moore Brothers online. Um, I just did a quick search, but I thought, um, yeah, I'm going to pick that up, even with the damage. So let's try and get all this home safely. I've not even gone to the cancer research, but with the amount that I've got here and the amount I've still got at home, I'm not sure if I need to. Um, I'll maybe pop in just because, um, you know, just in case. But see how we get on. Sorry, so absolutely roasting here. Whew! Season. So we're back home and I am going to show you my home. Um, let's try and do it in, in an order. So in the very first charity shop, um, we found this super retro planter. It's impressed Italy here. It's in, there's no chips or cracks at the top, but if you, so that flower's fine, but if you turn it upside down underneath, there has been a repaired crack down here, or a repaired chip, and there's a little bit of paint chipping there. Sorry, two seconds. Sorry, that was my husband phoning me. <laughs> always, there's always something. It's either the cat or the husband or the kids. Okay, so we did the planter. I think we got that one for two or three pounds. I think that one's three. Yeah. And then um, in the same charity shop, we got this. Um, I think they're called Dayton Melmix Melamine um, Salt and Pepper. And they're like old new stock. They've never been opened. And at the same charity shop, 
I got these prints for two pounds each and um who were they by again? I figured it out. Maurice Legendary. Legendre. Legendre. I don't know how you would say it. But I found two in the video. And then I found a third one at the till. So I grabbed the three of them. And I think £2 each. So £6 for the three. And I could sell the three of them. They're all in pretty good condition. The frames are fine. Um... Oh, and they're prints from the 70s, um, made in France. That's a 1972 print, uh, 1976, and I think that's 1971, but it's really low down in the frame, so I can hardly see it. So, yeah, the three, I could maybe get 35, 40 for the three. Um, so that was them. And then, okay, so then we went to um, the uh, to the other charity shop. It also, it's in Fife, but in the, they're like in two different villages. Um, and then that one, I got two bagfuls of clothes, loads for the kids, a few things for me, a few things I thought might be quite good, but it turned out not. <laughs> but it was five items for a pound, and I got ten items, so it was two pounds, so it was fine. I'll write that one off. Um, and then also, so that shop has also then got um, an extended part, which is where they do the jumbo sales, like once every quarter or whenever it is. Um, but they've got, that's, it's like there's a little part of that where it's always open as well as the charity shop. So I go to the charity shop, then I go up to the, to like the hall. And in that bit, they've only just got like a, a little porch, you know, that where you can get it. Um, you saw in the car, I got two Majolica jugs, English Majolica, both have, I called it a lozenge in the car, you would call this a kite mark, a Victorian kite mark, and then um, I think you could literally find out the day it was made by that. So one has a crack in it, the other one is actually in pretty good condition, mine are like, you know, paint flea bites around the rims, um, but totally totally minor so yeah at least 40 for them and we got the two of them I think for seven this vase it's lovely I figured out who this was like I don't know um it's made in Hungary I can't remember um it's like a mid-century vase I think you can get 20 quid for this um, I'll try and remember to put up on the screen the maker of it. Um, then, oh no, sorry, we're still over the water, aren't we? We got this, which is, as I came home, realised it's like literally a melted bottle, glass bottle. This one is the botanicals bottle. That's why it had the writing around the outside, hand, hand selected botanicals, and people would use these as a chopping board. Something random, I've never picked it up. I probably won't pick it up again. Could maybe sell it for 12. Just me. Here's annoying me. So yeah, maybe 12 pounds for that one. 15 maybe. And then um, we got this. So yeah, I picked this up in the shed. I picked up a pair of, well, they were Vans or Converse. I, put, I ended up putting them back because they were neither. <laughs> um, I, They had Disney on them, but they weren't buy any one they just had disney so i was like that just looks like a primark brand or something so i put that back and then picked up this by moore brothers or moore's brothers is it no moore brothers we'll just fell out a leaf um yeah because it's still all muddy inside it has one two three cracks and a chip on the foot there Um, this isn't as elaborate as the other ones online, um, but I still think we could get maybe 30 to 40 for it. Hopefully. The really elaborate ones, they they all seem to have a little bit of damage. Because um, they're really like, you know, the Victorian, uh, you know, really flamboyant Rococo style. Um, and a lot of them are chipped because um, they have... 
like applied flowers and things and it's more molded um, and they're still asking three figures um, so I don't know I don't know we'll say 20 to 40 to be conservative um, even with the cracks I would say so then um, we went to the cancer research because again it's just across literally as you go across the Tay Bridge it's right on the Dundee side um, so we went in there and we picked up oh, something that I still I can't identify I don't know what I picked up it was a pound I think um, it's like an ornamental ceramic egg it has writing under here which seems to be in a different language and I can't make it out so we have that, probably end up at the market for two pounds. We have this dish, it's enameled on copper, um, vintage dish. It's marked at the back, uh, made in Holland, and we could get about 15 for that, which pays for the shopping trip. We also got this, it's just one, unfortunately. I would have liked it to have had a pair. Um, a celadon um like a sake cup or tea cup and it's got a koi fish in it a lot of these celadon glazed chinese items will have a pattern um beneath it and then these two candlesticks both are marked dartington Pound each. Um, one has a flea bite just under there, and then the other one has two flea bites in the actual rim. So that is obviously going to bring the price down. So I would say maybe 15 for those, 10 to 15. Um, and then we got this lovely vase for two pounds and it's got a beautiful iridescence so this is signed just make it out um i can't remember what it says <laughs> i'll put it up here scottish glass it's a scottish glass studio sorry i'm so bad oh i put it up on the screen um so two pounds maybe 15 to 20 and then I think was that it? No, um oh no, hang on, let me show you this one first. We got this lovely blanket. This was three pounds. Oh no, it wasn't, was it? No, that's not the price. It's a two pound price there, but the price was here. And it was three pounds. So three pounds for that. And where is the mark? Um there. Heather Valley, made in Scotland, a hundred percent pure new wool it's beautiful so 30 to 40 for this might squeeze a wee bit more but 30 to 40 and then the last thing i didn't get any footage of this because i just popped to a little shop um on the hill town literally on the way home and i got it for four pounds and it's an earrings and bracelet set um sterling silver but you wouldn't be able to see the marks it's so tarnished so um it is marked a tiny mark down there but it is re a really tarnished bracelet and then the earrings so i think these are black onyx for the sterling um bead there onyx there is a really really nice onyx actually and then there is 925 um up there on the hoops so four pounds i would probably think um 22 ish for the set and oh no i totally forgot the plates i, have, I got a load of plates they wanted 10 10 for a pound i think that was the price one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I got nine because there was only nine in this set. Now, they only had saucers, no cups. <laughs> I thought it was so weird. But these are the saucers I picked up. Ten for a pound. 
and they're all hand painted. They're Royal Stafford, made in England. So I got seven saucers, all the same, and then two cake plates. Sorry if you can hear my kids playing, they are really so noisy. Um, yeah, so I don't know, I just think they're worth more than a pound. And I love the design. So even if no one buys them, do you know what? If we ever, if we eventually ever do get moved, I wouldn't mind these like scattered all over a wall as some sort of design. I think that would be so cool. But yeah, I love the, I love the design. Gold, hot pink. Um, yeah, lovely. So that is my haul. I'm, I was quite happy with it. Um, I'll get some things online and hopefully get things moving. Um, I only think we'll need to shift maybe one or two pieces to get money back and a little bit of profit and then everything else will be, you know, gravy on top of that. So, and then um, I went out thrifting yesterday. So I'm going to be editing that video soon. And then I found a few lovely pieces of really, really awesome Lucite Wangle, so you know, keep your eye out for for that video. Um, and also please check out uh, Miss Damn Jewelry, Dolores. She's fabulous, just fabulous. She has such a unique style, such a unique like take, and she can do like she'll do filming, um, like thrifting videos. I think she's got a few shorts. Like she's just doing so so well. Um, but yeah, like. She found this Scotty dog the other day and it's something that maybe I would never look at or pick up but now I'm like, I want one. I really, really want one. Like, really bad. So, like, please check her out, Miss Dam Jewelry. I will put her channel up here. Um, and please check her out. And don't forget to like and subscribe to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.